Right, so this is how to make a um, Roman candle type firework thing. And here are the things you'll need. Start with the uh, well, ignition source. Obviously matches or lighter. Some fuse, I'm using Fisco fuse. Scissors. Skewer. A, um, oh, well, some tape. Some black powder rice holes, and I think normal black powder will work as well, and some stars. I'm using crackling stars because they, well, it's just a better effect, and effect for this sort of type of thing than just like normal stars. And some card. I'm using toilet paper cardboard. It's nice and thin, and uh, yeah, maybe off a cornflakes box or a cereal box or something. So yeah, now how to make it. So for the first step you're going to need scissors, some of your card, one of these, well I forgot to mention this actually, it's just basically a bit of cardboard, at the same um, thickness as the um, toilet paper. It's a round bit of cardboard with a hole in the middle for the fuse. And it's about, I don't know, a centimetre and a half. And some tape. Any kind of tape will really do. So you're going to start off by... rolling up the cardboard to about, I don't know, maybe centimeter and a quarter roughly that in diameter get your tape get your tape here and just wrap it around I uh, just make sure basically that it isn't gonna come apart or whatever. There's your um, shoe blur is done. And then what you want to do is basically put that piece on the end there and then um, give it a bit more tape. about a strip about I don't know centimeter in width and um yeah please secure it secure the end piece on and basically keep doing this over this side, this side, this side until the end piece is secured so then once your end piece is secured into place you're gonna wanna get your fuse and insert it in out let me see what's that, centimeter um, maybe a centimetre and a half, I don't know. And then, so once it's in that far, you're gonna get your um, black powder rice holes. And um, so pour, I don't know. I really am quite bad with 
measuring this type of thing, but how much that is, maybe a bit more. that much in uh, so how do I pour this in here yeah, basically so yeah basically pour about that much in Sure to get the last little bits up. And yeah, so yeah. So once you have your black powder rice holes in there or normal black powder, whichever, you're gonna get a bit you yeah, have um, tissue. Tissue paper, toilet paper, and tear off bit yeah. oh. that much. Don't know how much that is now, just roughly that size. And then you're gonna like fold it up like that. Get it on the end of your skewer and then just push it down there. So yeah, once you have it like that, you're gonna get gonna get um I don't know about nine, ten, eleven stars, something like that. I'm using these tiny little crackling stars. Don't know if you can see that there, but that's what they look like. And put them in. So again, I'm using them out. I'm using nine actually now. Once you have them in, just get a piece of tissue paper about the same size, I reckon. Again. And then, um, right, I'm just gonna give it a tip there. Give it a tip first, maybe. Or actually, just leave it like that. So put it over the top there. And just basically put it over the top like that. And oh, wrap tip around it to secure it. So it's uh, just about finished now. Might want to like bend the fuse up a bit. That's what I'm doing now. And then usually what I do to get stuck in the ground is um, you just get a skewer, stick it to the side of it, stick the skewer in the ground, uh, or uh, yeah, tape the skewer to the side of it, and then stick the skewer in the ground. And it fires it up, or I just use a nail, usually just tape the side, stick it in, either up and yeah. So now I'll uh, do the test. So I'm outside, it's about, I don't know, uh, I think it's about 20 to 11, quarter to 11, so it's still not fully dark since it's in summer. And uh, out there sticking in the ground. I'm gonna place the camera. Actually, I'm gonna hold the camera. Just gonna hold it here. Oh, 
There you go. That was it. So, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye.